So um, it's been wonderful seeing Griffin, um, you know, a dog that was given, you know, approximately three months to live. Here we are 18 months later and he's, he's doing really well and he's always been such a pleasure to treat. Hi, mister. Hi, buddy. So what we're trying to do here with this research is we're trying to do, develop a new type of treatment for cancer and it's called immunotherapy. And what we're trying to do is have an animal, in this case we work with dogs that, that naturally have cancer, and we want to wake up their immune systems. And then the animal's body will actually start to destroy the cancer. And that's very different from the way that we've treated cancer in the past, where we either use surgery or we use chemicals that are quite toxic to the cells, called chemotherapy, or we use radiation, again, to kill off the cancer. So about 18 to 19 months ago, I uh, noticed a lump on Griffin's back and yeah, lo and behold it turned out to be bad news and cancerous. So Griffin was diagnosed with a really malignant form of cancer back in um, December 2017 um, and was given a really poor prognosis of about three months even with chemotherapy and so we enrolled him in the trial in January 2018 and here we are, July 2019, um, he's looking good. Oh, mate, he's part of the family. Uh, my daughter's got her best mate back. I've got my best friend back, so yeah, it means the world. So I have treated 26 dogs in my trials so far, and together with University of Sydney, we've treated over 170 dogs, and we're thinking that the success rate is around about 30%. This treatment, as opposed to chemotherapy, um, has no side effects. So we've published the um, research where it shows that over 150 injections, we had no side effects in any of the dogs. It's great that a medical trial like this exists and vaccines like this are out there. Well, immunotherapy is such a big and very quickly developing area and there's certainly been a lot of breakthroughs in human medicine because dogs get a lot of the similar types of cancers as we do. I think um, research into immunotherapy is very, very valuable. My collaborator group, which is the University of Sydney and also Flinders University, they're very interested in developing this for human patients. So we're going to hopefully start trials for people soon, but the dogs are helping us prove that the treatments are safe and also that they work. And we're also looking at how they work, because if we understand that, then we can potentially tweak them a bit to make them work even better.